We're here along Lake Street, not far from where the victim was killed. Now take a walk with me. You can see there's a sidewalk here along Lake Street, but once we approach this corner of Lake and Phoenix Street, the sidewalk just stops abruptly. This is exactly why residents are concerned, but town council says those concerns are not going unheard. Tonight they voted to implement crossing lights at five locations throughout the town. We've had a fatality. I myself have witnessed two accidents. I agree with the people. You know, speed bumps would be nice. Concerned Vernon residents speaking out during Tuesday's town council meeting, many asking for crossing lights to be installed on popular rails to trails crosswalks. Vernon resident Mark Shackleton says he started a change.org petition for new crossing lights and sidewalks in town after 44 year old Andrew Agarwal was fatally struck and killed by Philip Holmes. Holmes fled from the scene back on November 24th, but has since been arrested. I had noticed um, in the years that I've lived there, how dangerous that intersection that crosswalk is. Shackleton's change.org petition for crossing lights received 1,125 signatures, while another petition asking for sidewalks along Phoenix and Washington streets received more than 400. Other people in the town that use that system recognize that this is a problem area. Residents say they've had concerns for pedestrian safety in the area of rails to trails for years. Town Council says they're listening. It's very sensitive to us to respond to issues that people in our town have, and we can. The council passing a budget request to allocate $60,000 for new crossing lights at five different crosswalks. Two of those crosswalks in the rails to trails area where Agarwal was killed. So this is the first effort or first part of maybe a series of things we do to help control some of the problems that these people brought to our, our knowledge. We don't want another fatality in town from that on that street. Town Council says they hope to have the new crossing lights installed by the spring, but that could change due to the pandemic. They expect to have a more solid date in two months. In Vernon, Zania Maldonado, Fox 61 News.